Hello there world, avid record collectors, vinyl enthusiasts, and lovers of metal, I guess you could say. This is Logan again with another video for Vinyl Appreciation Society, and today I'm here to talk to you about the Sepultura Roadrunner Records um, box set, which came out in 2017. And interesting story about this, I saw this at Amoeba in 2017 sometime, brand new, and I didn't buy it because I didn't. And then I was looking for for it online and I saw it for very high prices everywhere I went. And then lo and behold, I went one day into Amoeba, into the metal section, which is now at the corner side of the store instead of the middle, because I want the middle out of the main section, I guess, because it's maybe too evil or something. But I found this sitting there for a used price that was the same price as it knew. So that's what I get for not uh, biting the bullet and buying it when I could, but I finally got it and I don't have to sort of look for another one. But if I do find another one, now that I notice that this, the front of this, if you can see that, is kind of swirl scratched up or something. I don't know how I can mess up the box, but anyway, here we go. In this box set we get Arise, Roots, Beneath the Remains, Morbid Visions, Chaos ID, and Schizophrenia. I actually have not listened to these three albums, um, which should be on your left side of the screen, but I have listened to these three. I've listened to Beneath the Remains many times. That's uh, their first album, and it's absolutely fantastic. I listen in the car, headphones, what have you. Listen to it all the time. It pumps me up, gets me in the mood, and it's very good. Um, very thrash heavy. The drumming on it is exceptional. Um, like any other group, I think, um, as they went on in time, they got very more dynamic in the rhythms and whatever else, and they got very more um, in sync as a group. You know, the music, the quality of the music just gets better. Um, it's not so aggressive or what have you. But anyway, let's just take a look at these real quick. So this is uh, Morbid Visions, and... Um, Oh, actually, this was their first album. Excuse me, I, I made a boo-boo. But uh, Morbid Visions is their first album, and now I see what people are talking about. So this definitely looks like a death metal album, so I guess the first first album was very death metal-esque. That cover says it is to me, so I think it might. Look at this very 80s um, you know, picture of them looking cool. This guy's got an ammo belt around. They all got ammo belts, actually, and long hair and everything else. But 1985. It's very cool, and uh, look at that, <laughs> a demon, and I think we know what this picture is of, so yes, very death metal-esque. Here we go, so, Morbid Visions, very cool. I should listen to these in order at some point in time. And then the next one, I'm just taking them out of the box and uh, showing you the artwork. Beneath the Remains, my absolute favorite from them um, at the moment. Haven't listened to the other three, as I've said. So, the back of the album, another very 80s cover. Um, <laughs> yeah, by, by a seaside on some rocks, you know, very 80s. And here we go, this is just a translucent orange. I also bought another uh, copy of this before I bought this box out of uh, Beneath the Remains, which was a 1997 remastering. Um, so, yes, there's that. And then this is uh, Schizophrenia. And what year did this come out? This was 87. So, so they released Beneath the Remains. Oh, this was 89. So, okay. This was 87. So this is their second album. Very, another very 80s cover on the background where you have the, the group members and they have the listings of, well, this one just has the uh, the group member's name, but sometimes they put what instruments they play. But they do, they do put um, what the group members play. Oh, blue, very appropriate for the, for the cover, and we have some streaks. Can you see those? You know, it's hard to see, it's hard for me to see, so it must be hard for the camera to see. Um, you can't really see it unless you hold it a certain way. 
So I need to listen to this one. It makes sense why I like this album so much because this is a third album. I mean, by that point you should know what kind of band you are. <laughs> or throw in the towel, quite honestly. So another interesting note, I, I guess um, a lot of people said uh, Creator, the uh, Teutonic uh, Thrash uh, metal band from uh, Germany has some death metal stuff. So I guess that could be correct. But, um, you know, by the time they got to um, their 1989 album, which is uh, the name is befallen my mind at the moment, uh, Extreme Aggression, you know, it's very, very thrash heavy. But anyway, so I guess they could have had a a death metal esque type album for the early stuff as well. So, and then the next one is Arise, and this was from 91. This is very 90s now. Well, I guess I'm just saying that because of the, uh, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying actually, but I like this cover. This is a very cool cover. All right, sort of the same deal. Um, just a uh, solid uh, sort of gold on this. I'm just kind of beat up. And then Chaos AD. This was 93. That's really cool. I have a lot of sort of crazy technology and this thing being, I guess, sent through another, to another dimension. That's why it looks like a very science fiction-esque uh, type of um, album. Oh, I don't think he played this one. This is having a hard time. So I thought, <laughs> I thought that was rot for a minute. <laughs> but that's pretty cool. It looks like uh, some sort of toxic waste on the blue. That's really cool. Um, I mean, it could be a little more could be like the whole album, but whatever. So I need to listen to this one. I, I listen to this just because of the cover. Like, uh, it looks like there might be some synth work on this. So any any death metal and synth and uh, synthesizers, I am all for, always. So there's that. And we got one more. And this is Roots. This is a fantastic album. This was uh, 96, so this is a this is probably their most accomplished album, I think. Yeah. Um, so this is a Roadrunner when they're on Roadrunner. So Roots, um, you know, this is just a, a very good album. Solid, 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 solid. Oh, shit. Oops. And solid red. So very. Uh, I like the. Um, the label on this one. And there we go. Oh, these come with also the uh, the inner original inner sleeves. So all of these have this in it. And um, the lyrics on here. The lyrics are in here. Oh, it's kind of cool. This one has the uh, lyrics um, on these sort of liner notes that they've made in different sections for all the songs. So there we go. This is the Sepultura Roadrunner box set that I finally got the chance to buy even though it's used and this one's kind of beat up so I in the future would probably buy another one of these if I could. They just also released um, these albums on sort of expanded 2LP editions. I don't know if those are remastered. Um, you know this is fine for me for the moment but uh, they do have I think all the albums remastered on uh, two, they spread them across two LPs so you get the maximum fidelity for the record. Um, and here we go. Just one more look at the box. This one was kind of beat up. I know this was kind. Of, I noticed this was kind of beat up after I brought it home, but I wasn't going to return it because I really wanted this. So there we go. And this has been Logan for another Vinyl Appreciation Society video, and uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>